Ever wondered what's inside a lock? It's a mechanical puzzle. Today, we're diving into the art of lock picking. But first, the golden rules. This is for education only. Never pick a lock you don't own, and never one that's in use. We're here to learn and solve puzzles legally. We'll start with the fundamentals, the hook and tension wrench, to understand how these security devices work. Ready to unlock a new skill? Subscribe and join the adventure with How to Education. A critical reminder, this is for educational purposes. Only practice on locks you own. This knowledge is for understanding security, not breaking the law. Inside a lock, a plug is blocked by pin stacks. The correct key aligns them at the shear line to open it. To pick it, a tension wrench applies rotation while a hook lifts each pin. A rake scrubs them open faster. Kinetic tools like pick guns and bump keys use impact to rapidly set the pins, allowing the plug to turn. Remember the golden rule, never pick a lock that isn't yours. Found this educational? Subscribe to learn more. For educational purposes only, we're exploring advanced lock bypassing, the sophisticated tools used by licensed locksmiths for non-destructive entry. First, the key decoder. It doesn't pick the lock, it reads it. By measuring each pin's depth, a locksmith can cut a new key from scratch. Next, the electric pick gun. If the decoder is a scalpel, this is a jackhammer. Its vibrating needle strikes all pins at once, launching them past the shear line for pure speed. And the controversial bump key. A specially cut key that when struck, transfers a jolt of energy to the pins. Its simplicity makes it notorious. Remember, these are serious tools for pros. Misuse carries legal consequences. For enthusiasts, the ethical pursuit is called lock sport. To learn more about the tech that shapes our world, subscribe. Cylinder locks are everywhere. Professionals use tubular picks for authorized, non-destructive entry. For legal use only. Found this educational? Subscribe. Cylinder locks, especially those found in vending machines, are designed for both convenience and security. These locks use a series of pins arranged in a circular pattern, making them resistant to traditional lock picking methods. The most common tool for authorized entry is the tubular pick, which aligns with the lock's pin layout. To use it, a technician carefully inserts the pick, gently adjusting the needles to match the pin heights. When done correctly, the lock opens smoothly without damage. It's crucial to remember, these techniques are strictly for legal authorized use, never for unauthorized access. Always respect property and the law.